Well, howdy, folks. Welcome back to the Luminary Shop. It's a nippy day in South Central Montana, but it's a good day. I found out yesterday that my data has been recovered and I'm going to get it all back. I've got almost a terabyte of already recorded movies and and the clips and materials for the next five or six videos that I'll be putting out. So I'm really excited to be getting all of that back. I don't have it yet. It's been recovered. It's been shipped and it's on the way. So this week I'm going to put up a video at the suggestion of one of my commenters to make something out of one of those chucks that we put together last time. So, so for this video I'm going to turn that chuck, make it into the shape and form that I need to make the floor of a lamp. These are the floors that were in the lamps when I got them to restore. I'm pretty sure they're not the original floors. The one on your left is about 18 gauge. The one on the right is about 24 gauge. Different materials, a little bit different shape. I'm pretty convinced that they're not the original floors. So I'm going to go ahead and make new ones with a design that I think will be appropriate for this pair of lamps. I'm going to try to match them to the top and adapt them to receive the oil burners. The chuck that I'm going to use is one that I made in the last video. It's about nine and a half inches in diameter and I have threaded it to fit onto the spindle of this spinning lathe.
The diagonal measurement through those rectangular floors is about nine and a quarter inches. So I'm going to start out with a nine and a half inch blank. This brass is about 18 thousandths of an inch thick, which is about 20 gauge. That should be quite sufficient for what we're trying to do here. I'll be gradually forcing that steel follow block down into the center of this piece as I spin it. And that will form the double wall effect that I want in the middle of this finished piece. You can see that the brass is becoming distorted because of the pressures involved in spinning. So I'm going to try to put a larger diameter follow block so that maybe I can support it a little better and go on with my spinning. Well, that doesn't seem to have worked. I'll go ahead and take it off and try annealing it. I'll heat it to a dull red and then let it air cool. That should relax all the bonds in the metal and soften it up to where I can work it again.
After about 10 minutes, it's cooled down enough that I can handle it. And it certainly has softened up. I think I'll be able to work it this time. And the final spin on the second piece. I'll use the old pieces to size these to the correct dimension and also leave a 1 8 inch extra on each side so that I can turn them into a 1 8 inch deep pan. I have to provide ventilation holes in order to provide oxygen for the flame on the oil burner when these lamps are put together.
And there we have two new floors for this pair of hearse lamps. Well, as always, thanks for watching and I hope to see you again next time on The Luminary Shop.